A shootout there in downtown Baton Rouge early Sunday morning. So this is after the bars, everything had closed Saturday night. It had people, as you see there, scrambling for cover. Thankfully, no one was hit. However, a few cars and windows of businesses were hit by the bullets. Lester Dewey spoke with city leaders about this. Lester, what did they tell you? Yeah, Liz and Greg, I spoke with the Metro Council member for that area along with the downtown development director. They both agreed this is absolutely unacceptable and they'd like more cops and cameras downtown to combat things like this from happening. Get in your car and go. It's like a scene out of a movie or the sounds you'd hear in Ukraine. People running for cover after a shootout in downtown Baton Rouge early Sunday morning after the bars closed. Sounded like a damn war zone. It is ridiculous and we must do something about that. At least three separate buildings downtown now have the scars from this stupidity with at least seven bullet holes by my count in windows nearby. Young people don't value life, a lot of them, and they don't realize that there are people who do value that life and so with that being said we've got to make sure that we uh, kind of beat things up. Baton Rouge police tell us the shootout happened at around 2 45 a.m. on Lafayette Street. Thankfully no one was hit however several vehicles were struck by bullets and you saw what happened to the windows of those businesses. During normal hours when people are conducting business or coming downtown for an event or anything like that this is not something that happens downtown is very safe. One person who works at a business on 3rd Street and wanted to remain anonymous sent me these photos saying he and others believe events like this are directly related to promoter parties happening regularly at a bar on 3rd Street, although there's been no word from police on a link from the shooting to that event. I have no idea that what happened beforehand and why it got to the point it did that night and just waiting to hear what um, BRPD has to say about it in their investigation. Leaders believe more police need to be present downtown and more cameras could help curtail this violence as well. We need to make sure that we have a, a, an increased presence I think during those times that that you don't really have a presence here but when people might um, be doing things that they shouldn't be doing. Cameras, officers and then deal with the culprit. We must send a message to them that it's time out for this. And then when we say lives matter, yeah, let's be real about this. All lives matter and let's stop this foolishness. Police tell me they are reviewing surveillance footage downtown to try and identify the shooter or shooters. If you have any information, you can call Crime Stoppers. That number, of course, 344-STOP. Greg. All right, Lester, thank you. Baton Rouge Police say.